if there's one thing travelers learned in the pandemic, it's that stuff happens. I was pretty concerned that it wouldn't happen pretty much right up until about three weeks before we left. So Michonne Hayes didn't balk at buying travel insurance when she booked her trip for June to Turks and Caicos. It was about $300 for our family of four, so it was very affordable for a week-long stay. Turks and Caicos has joined other destinations, requiring tourists carry coverage in case something happens. Allianz, one of the biggest insurers, says claims have skyrocketed 75 percent since the pandemic began. And demand for travel insurance has soared, too. Squaremouth, an online broker for travel insurance, says its sales have grown 67 percent. There's certainly been uh, an increase in awareness, a huge change to our demographic. Um, our average traveler is about 10 years younger than they were before COVID. Moncrief says all 20 insurers Squaremouth works with offer policies that cover coronavirus if you catch it. But if your travel plans are disrupted by advisories, border closures, quarantines, that may require a cancel for any reason policy. Squaremouth says travelers can expect to pay about 40% more for that coverage and likely won't get fully reimbursed. Of course, without coverage, travelers will be shelling out the full 100%. I was more concerned with the cost of having to stay an extra 10 days during a quarantine, which would have been um, a big hit for us financially that we weren't prepared for. So I was happy to have that insurance. Some credit cards may offer some protection and you can often buy travel insurance when you book your trip online, but the prices differ greatly and so does the coverage. It pays to read the fine print and shop around. Tyler.